Beer. Everybody likes beer, and most of us like it cold. Maybe if you are in the UK, you don't care so much. But in most other parts of the world, people like their beer cold, and when they don't have a cold beer in the fridge, they have to wait an hour or two hours for it to cool if they do put one in the fridge. Some people try to speed up the process by putting it in the freezer instead. Well, here's a trick that you can use that will cool your beer faster than in the fridge, faster than in the freezer, and even faster than in a bucket of water and ice. The secret ingredient is add salt. I'm going to do an experiment to show you the difference between just regular water and ice and water and ice with salt added. The difference is tremendous and you can get a beer cold enough to drink in 10 minutes. Okay, so for the experiment, this is all of my equipment. I've got two thermometers, identical. Two glasses of beer in identical glasses, the same amount of beer. I've got two buckets of ice. I have 200 milliliters of water in each measuring cup. I've got a scale to make sure that I'm putting in the right amount of salt. And I've got another thermometer that I'm going to use uh, just to measure the temperature of the ice water. And of course, the salt. I've also got a kitchen thermometer shaped like a strawberry to time the, uh, to measure the time that it takes for the beers to cool down to a drinkable temperature. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these thermometers in the beer. We will have a look at these to make sure that they're the same temperature, uh, which they are. They, the beer came out of the same can. Then I'm going to put the water in both buckets of ice. And I'm also going to add the salt. Now, in each bucket of ice, um, I've added 200 mils of water, which is 200 grams. And there was about 600 grams of water, or sorry, excuse me, 600 grams of ice in each bucket. So 600 grams of ice plus 200 grams of water is 800 grams. Now I'd like to add about 20% to 30% by weight in salt. There is exactly 226 grams of salt. I think that's good enough. Now, I do want to mix it up a bit, so I'm going to do that right now. That should be okay for now. Now, let's check the temperature of the beers. They are both at 27 degrees. Yes, it's fairly warm here. Okay, now we're going to put these in the buckets of ice. Oh, this one's frozen too. Okay. And let's start the timer. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Okay, so one minute has passed now, and I'm going to uh, take the temperature of the ice water in both buckets. So first, the uh, regular water. This one is, I don't know if you can read it, one degree, or zero now. And in this bucket, you can see that the temperature of the ice water is minus nine, minus 10 now. Now the temperature of the two beers This one is about 23 degrees, and this one is about 21 degrees. Now we're at the four minute mark, 
And the regular water beer is 20, 21 degrees. And this one in the salt water is about 16 or 17 degrees. So this one is cooling down faster. Now we're at the six minute mark and this beer is about 18 degrees. The salt water beer is 13 degrees. At the eight minute mark, the regular water beer is at about 14 to 15 degrees. The salt water beer is eight degrees. We're now at the 10 minute mark. The fresh water beer is at 12, 13 degrees. The salt water beer is now five degrees. Now we're at 12 minutes. And I just noticed that this bucket of ice water is so cold, you can actually see the frost that's beginning to form on the outside of the bucket. This bucket does not have that. Um, the beer in this one is now 11 degrees. And the beer in this one is about three degrees. So we're coming up on 14 minutes and the beer in this one is now 10 degrees exactly. And in here we have about two degrees. So there you have it in less than 14 minutes, probably 10 minutes actually, you can get uh, beer that's very drinkable and if you wait a few minutes longer, then it gets even colder, of course. So um, I'm going to keep waiting and we'll see uh, how much longer it takes for this beer to get to zero or maybe below zero if it's possible. Let's see. So here we are at 20 minutes and this beer is at about seven degrees. And this one is minus two. Certainly cold enough for a good beer. Let's try and see. I'm going to drink this beer after putting this thermometer. I did clean the thermometer, but. Oh, yeah. See, that's a good temperature for beer.